Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of The Money Codes. My name is Joel, here to give you your daily money code fix. So today we're gonna be talking about Andrews Federal Credit Union and how does it compare up against Navy Federal Credit Union. So if you've been online, if you've been on forums on YouTube, you've probably already seen that Navy Federal, they have a, a pretty zealous fan base. They have fans that really go hard in the paint for this credit union. So if you're not aware of what each credit union provides, you may be wondering why we're claiming one bank or one financial institution is better than the next so i want to do a series where i'm kind of doing a side-by-side -side comparison on navy federal as well as other credit unions that i feel is worth taking a longer look at so to speak so very quickly this video is going to be primarily about their personal and business credit cards however i'm going to very briefly touch on a couple of their other products as well just so you can see that although navy federal is the top dog there are some other credit unions and there's some other financial institutions that do more than hold their weight in the terms of personal and business lending so very quickly we're on the andrews federal website and you can see that the very first thing that they have is this young lady holding up a credit card so you can already see where they're they're trying to bring their attention. And then if we scroll down, we see improving the financial lives of members in Washington, DC, Maryland, Virginia, New Jersey, and military installations in Europe. So Andrews Federal, very similar to Navy Federal, they are geared towards uh, those that are in the military. However, one of the perks that Andrews has over Navy Federal is that you do not need to be in the military in order to gain access to this credit union. So if you watch my screen, if you click at the top and click on membership, it's gonna go over a lot of their benefits, what is it that they do, and then they're gonna go over the eligibility requirements. So now if you are already in the DMV area, Washington DC, um, it's a lot easier to just go ahead and join. However, the way I got in is bullet point number three, uh, you are or wish to be a member of the American Consumer Council. So that's what I did. And in order to sign up for that, all I got to do is scroll down and click that link. And you see here, there are a couple of different ways to join. I signed up for the uh, lifetime membership, which is $15. I went ahead and just paid with my credit card. I was able to pay and then gain access to Andrew Federal very easily. I just had to send them over some additional documentation because I'm not in the DMV area. I had to send them a copy of my identification as well as verification of my address. And within a matter of days, they took care of me. So this is how you're able to do it. Also, if you scroll to the very bottom, you see where it says membership code. I have seen people say that you can put in Andrews and you're able to get that $15 waived. I can't verify that's true. However, go ahead and try it and you can save 15 bucks potentially. So that's how you sign up for Andrews Federal. So now let's jump in and let's look at the products that they offer and how they compare to Navy Federal. So the first tab I have open is their personal checking. So one of the things that is a commonality between both credit unions is that they are free. They do not require any monthly fee and there is no minimum balance to worry about in order to keep that account open. They have different tiers of their checking account and if you scroll down, if you opt to go for the advantage checking and you have a balance over 1500, you're going to be able to earn dividends off of your balance. However, if that balance goes below 1500, you're going to have to pay $10 a month for this account. So what about Navy Federal? What do they look like? And I'm going to jump back and forth between both websites so you can see what it is that I'm talking about. But you can see here, Navy Federal, they do have multiple tiers as well. They have the free active duty. So if you are an active duty or you are retired military, you're going to be able to get 0.05 in APY. There are some additional benefits as well. You get the ATM fee rebate. So if you're not in an area where there are Navy federal branches, you're able to go to third party branches or third party ATMs and do withdrawals and they'll be able to rebate you up to $120 per year. I think that's awesome. So you can see as I'm scrolling down all of their accounts, you're able to earn APY. Now, of course, on their free everyday checking, they're not gonna give you a lot. I mean, 0 0.01, but it's something. So for that reason, I will slightly give the advantage over to Navy Federal because you can pay no monthly fee and then you can earn at least something on the balance that you're carrying in your checking account. So that's the personal. What about the money market? 
So we're going to jump over to Andrews again, and we're on the money market page. You can read the details later on, but let's just look at the rate. And I'm recording this early June 2021. So depending on when you're watching, a lot of this may in fact change. Andrews has already changed their website since the time I joined about three months ago. So, so just keep that in mind when you're watching this video, the numbers tend to change. So premium money market rate. So between 0 0.1 and 2000 and basically 2500, you're looking at dividend rates of 0 0.05. And that's pretty consistent as you go up to the tiers between 20,000 and 50,000, you're looking at 0 0.07 and everything 50,000 and above, you're getting 0 0.10. Now let's jump over to Navy Federal. So when you're in that tier between zero to 2,500, the APY is zero. And they're even saying that themselves take advantage of higher dividends in exchange for a minimum balance of 2,500 or more. You can see that once you have over 2,500 in your money market account, with Navy Federal, your APY is substantially greater. So here you're looking at 0 0.4, 0 0.45. Again, let's jump back over to Andrews. And even when you're at the 50,000 or more, the highest that they're giving you is 0 0.10. So in the money market category, I give that advantage over to Navy Federal as well. And then let's look at the car loans. So here at the car loans, if you've heard that the best way to purchase a vehicle is through your local credit union, that is correct. That's one of the, the better ways to go ahead and purchase a vehicle. You can see here that Andrews is advertising 2.39 APR, and it's all really dependent on the type of vehicle that you're purchasing. Is it a brand new car? Is it a used car? What's the duration of your term? So depending on those variables, you're looking at an APR as low as 2.39. If you're going 36 months on a new loan, and let's very quickly compare that to Navy Federal. All right, so we're on Navy Federal site. All you gotta do is go to loans and credit cards, and then auto loans. That's how I'm able to navigate to this page. And then we can look at view all rates. And now you can see here, Navy Federal has another advantage. So up to 36 months on a new vehicle, you are looking at 1.79%. So that does in fact beat Andrews. Now they are pretty competitive, I will say that. So I will give that to Andrews, they are competitive, but if you compare it line by line, Navy Federal does have a clear advantage, at least when it comes to just straight rates that they offer. All right, so now here is the area where I really wanna jump into, and that is their credit cards. So now if you go here and you click on view all credit cards, you're gonna see that Andrews offers at this time, they offer four credit cards. And I'm gonna to try to do a rough estimation and a rough comparison to Navy Federal. They're not exactly the same, but I'm trying to do it in a way so that we have something to compare it to. So let's start off with the Platinum Reward Secured Card. So at the time of this recording, they've done some changes over the last year or so. At one point, their secured card had no credit check behind that. However, if you look at it now, they're offering build credit while earning rewards with a $500 security deposit. Now, when you compare this to Navy Federal's and rewards card, and I did a very in-depth video on the end rewards card a few weeks back, the clear advantage goes to Navy Federal because Navy Federal, matter of fact, let me just pull this up. Here we go. So both cards are going to give you 1% in rewards, both Andrews and Navy Federal. However, the key part for Navy Federal, Navy Federal only needs $200 deposited into your savings account and then they can open up this secured card for you. Andrews, they needed 500 as a minimum. Another thing that we need to pay attention to is that with Navy Federal, after three months, you could be eligible for an upgrade. So you can see potentially a credit limit increase on your secured card and as quickly as three months. And also after six months, after an account review, you may be able to get your Navy Federal secured card and get that graduated to the cash rewards card, which I'll touch on in a second. So if we compare both secured cards, the fact that Andrew is requiring 500 and Navy is only requiring 200, to me, that is a big advantage for Navy Federal. Also, I was on the line with customer service earlier today, and I was told that you are not able to graduate from this secured card. 
into a different product. So if you start off with the Platinum Reward Secure Visa, and later on, once your credit gets stronger, you wanna to try to jump for the Platinum or the Titanium, you're going to have to do a completely new application and also another hard pull. Also keep in mind that the data points that we're seeing right now, we're hearing that people are having all three of their credit reports pulled for their credit card applications, as opposed to Navy Federal, you may only see your TransUnion. More times than not, if you try to apply for a Navy Federal credit product, they'll pull the TransUnion. All right, so now let's go to the Simplicity Visa credit card. So now the Simplicity Visa credit card is very straightforward, and the product that I will compare this to is the Navy Federal Platinum. And let me just go here. Let me close out some tabs so this can be a little bit easier for me. All right, so the second one, the Simplicity Visa credit card. So the pros for this, low interest rate, straightforward card that keeps credit simple. Right now they have a special 0% for six months on purchases within 90 days of account opening. And you're looking at an APR as low as 7.99%. Now, if we compare that to the Platinum, the Platinum is very similar. It's very similar in that there's not going to be a lot of bells and whistles. Both of these cards are for people that don't really need a lot of perks and bells and whistles. They just need a low interest rate. If you're planning on making a large purchase and you plan on making payments over time, you're going to want to put those purchases on these cards. Now, as you can see here, Navy Federal does have a slight advantage on the APR. They are able to go as low as 5.99 compared to Andrew's 7.99. And again, these rates tend to change very frequently. So, so take all of these numbers with a grain of salt if you plan on applying to any of these in the near future. I'm gonna to try to go very quickly. If you wanna see more detailed reviews, especially on the Navy Federal products, go check out my YouTube channel. So the next one is the Platinum Rewards Visa credit card. The key features here is earn rewards on every purchase, 5,000 bonus points with first purchase, the credit level needs to be fair, and what are the rewards looking like? One times points on all purchases. Let's jump over to Navy Federal. And what we can do, we can actually look at the cash rewards. This is the card and this is the account that once you start off with the Navy Federal Secured Card, potentially after six months, they can graduate you to this product. So for this one, you're looking at 1.5% cash back on all purchases. If you compare that to what we just saw here with the Platinum, you get one times points on all purchases and then 5,000 bonus points with first purchase. Again, if we look at the APR, the Platinum Rewards Visa goes down to 10.49. Navy Federal Cash Rewards can go as low as 9.65. So again, best case scenario, you're getting a slightly better APR and you're getting better rewards. And lastly, let's look at the Titanium Rewards Visa Signature. Flexible rewards for your everyday spending. 10,000 bonus points with purchase of 1,500 within the first 90 days. You need good credit for this. What are the rewards? Three time points on gas and groceries, 1.5 points on all other purchases. Now, what would be a good comparison for Navy Federal? Again, this is not perfect. This is not one-to-one. -one. I was put it somewhere in between the more rewards and let's say the flagship. Now, the flagship is the only one here that has an annual fee of $49 keep that in mind. However, the flagship offers three times points for every dollar you spend on travel and two times points on everything else. That's pretty legit. That's that's pretty clutch. The more rewards, you're looking at three times points on supermarkets, three times points on gas and transit, three times points at restaurants, and one point on everything else. And we're looking at respectively 9.65 and 9.99 as potential APRs. Compare this with the titanium rewards. We have a competitive 9.49. So really, I think out of everything that I've seen, the titanium rewards is pretty solid. It's pretty solid as far as what it offers. And if you scroll down here, you see that there is no annual fee. You have travel accident insurance, auto rental insurance, emergency assistant, 
concierge, ID theft protection, warranty. Now the only thing, and yep, here we go. So you can see here, none of these cards have annual fees, cash advance fees, or foreign transaction fees. That's across the board, and that's consistent with Navy Federal as well. Now the only thing that they have here for the titanium is that for balance transfers, they will charge a fee of 1.5% or $50. And if we compare that over to any of the Navy Federal cards, let's click. Uh, let's click the Amex card here. You can see here that you're not going to find any balance transfer fees on any of their products. So now to wind down this video so it doesn't get too long, I just want to end with this. Um, they do both offer business credit cards. Um, the business credit card here for Andrews. So right now there is a introductory rate for 12 months, 3.25 APR. There is an annual fee, $99. However, it is waived for the first year. And all of the credit limits for the Andrews products um, as you can see here, credit limits between 1,000 uh, to 50,000. I actually think it's it's broken down better over here, I believe. So as you can see here, all of their credit cards are listed. They list the uh, credit, the potential credit card limits, as well as the potential APR. Um, you can see they're all up to 50,000. When you compare that over to Navy Federal, uh, everything's up to 50,000 as well, except for the Visa Signature Flagship Rewards Card, that's the one that actually has the annual fee of $49. Um, that is the best card, or subjectively, the best card from Navy Federal. But everything else that we went over today, you can look at $1,000 to $50,000 in a potential credit card limit. And then after their first year, you're looking at a $99 fee. Uh, what does Navy Federal look like? So on Navy Federal side, you're looking at prime plus 5.9%. And when I did the numbers, uh, Navy Federal, their interest rate was better by, I think, a tenth of a percentage point. So at that point, you're just splitting hairs, one point per dollar spent, and then there is no annual fee. So really the only difference here, and I'm, I'm not quite sure what the maximum credit limit is for their uh, business card, uh, but I do know that you do not have an annual fee, and that probably is the biggest variable that I see thus far. Everything else is pretty competitive when you look at their business credit card. So um, that's the end of this video. I don't want to make it longer than it actually is. But this video was just to let you know that there are other credit unions out there. Um, for me, I would highly recommend or highly look into the Titanium credit card as well as their business credit card, depending on what's already in your wallet. I think those are two solid products that um, if you are looking to get a business card or even a personal card, that is something that you may want to spend some time looking into. Again, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you got a couple of gems out of this. Uh, if you are a member of Andrews Federal, I'd love to hear your comments down below and I'll check you out in the next video.